David Lamy has sparked a diplomatic row by calling alleged ethnic cleansing by a Russian ally a liberation of its former territory. The Foreign Secretary is under pressure to clarify the government's policy on Azerbaijan's forced displacement of 100,000 Armenians last year, after he claimed it was a liberation in a personal blog post. He also implied the former Soviet state was no longer aligned with Moscow, when, in fact, the two are growing closer. Mr. Lamy's gaffe about the conflict in the Nagorno-Karabakh region of the Caucasus Mountains comes days after he sparked fury by claiming climate change is a bigger threat than terrorism or tyranny. David Lamy has been branded highly improper and callous, proving he is totally ignorant of the history of the region and unfit to be foreign minister. Azerbaijan did not liberate the territory in a conflict described as ethnic cleansing, plus the genocide of two million people by Turkey and Russia from 1915. The Foreign Secretary's recent blog post led Armenia's ambassador to urgently seek clarification on the apparent change in the government's position over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. Azerbaijan in the past used to be part of Armenia, with the greater part of Armenia being in Turkey, and before that, the Ottoman Empire. After Azeri forces subjected Nagorno-Karabakh to a nine-month blockade, they attacked in September 2023 in a violation of a ceasefire deal agreed after a war in 2020. Some 100,400 ethnic Armenians, making up 99% of the population, fled, following threats of ethnic cleansing. After the invasion, there were allegations of war crimes, including the murder of Armenian civilians. September 2023, the dictatorship of Azerbaijan launched an armed attack on the entire territory of Nagorno-Karabakh, Artsakh. During Azerbaijan's nine-month siege of the region, there was no medicine. Azerbaijani troops blocked the roads between villages, preventing locals from collecting their dead. Azerbaijan's attack, combined with the blockade that preceded it, was designed to empty Nagorno-Karabakh of its ancient population of Armenian Christians, and it succeeded. Of the nearly 120,000 Armenian Christians who lived in Nagorno-Karabakh on September 19, 2023, only 14 remained. Rarely has an act of ethnic or religious cleansing been so complete. Christian Solidarity International issued a genocide warning for Nagorno-Karabakh on December 19, 2022, one week after Azerbaijan's blockade began. It is regrettable that in the nine months that followed, none of the powers with interests in the South Caucasus took any action to avert this act of genocide. For decades, the Minsk Group co-chairs, France, Russia, and the United States, led a peace process between Armenia and Azerbaijan based in part on the principles of the non-use of force and of self-determination for the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. In the lead-up to the ethnic cleansing of Nagorno-Karabakh, these powers abandoned the latter principle. Weeks before Azerbaijan's attack, the U.S. ambassador to Armenia, Kristina Kvian, confidently assured Karabakh Armenians that they could live safely under Azerbaijani rule. One week before the attack, Acting Assistant Secretary of State, Yuri Kim asserted, and quote, the United States will not countenance any action or effort, short-term or long-term, to ethnically cleanse or commit other atrocities against the Armenian population of Nagorno-Karabakh. Quote. Two months after the ethnic cleansing was completed, Assistant Secretary of State, James O'Brien stated all and quote, there's no chance of business as usual and quote, with Baku. Despite O'Brien's promise, the US and the international community have intensified their business with Azerbaijan since it completed its ethnic cleansing across occupied Nagorno-Karabakh in defiance of orders from the International Court of Justice. Azerbaijan was chosen to host the United Nations Annual Climate Change Conference, COP29, this November. American officials have been regular guests in Baku, and Azerbaijan's dictatorial president Ilham Aliyev has been toasted at summits and conferences across the Western world. 
the ethnic cleansing of Nagorno-Karabakh was just the latest phase in an Armenian genocide process that has been ongoing since the late 19th century, with an estimated 2 million dead. It is increasingly clear that Azerbaijan and its ally Turkey are now preparing the next phase. Lamy as the British foreign minister should have known all this, the fact that he has proved he is ignorant of the history of the region, and more importantly the genocide, is an abject dereliction of duty, and he should be fired, to avoid any more embarrassment to Britain.